Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Horticulture Geek. I am Ray, and today we're doing an unboxing. So a few months ago, in the middle of winter, when I had the gardening bug, like many people did, I went on to one of my favorite websites, Gilbert H. Wild. You can look that up. Awesome stuff. I've mentioned it on my channel before, but I bought a lot of stuff. Well, my box of plants and goodies just arrived, so I thought I would grab the camera and bring y'all along as I unbox this and see what all we got. Now, a lot of this is going to be bare root stuff, so it's not going to be for like full green pretty plants, but we're still going to get to see it and see everything I got. Um, that I'm fixing to be putting in the garden. So let me turn the camera around and here we go. Okay, so here is the box. It's a pretty big box. I have it up on the table where we can open it up and spread everything out. And I've got that covered up just for my own safety, y'all understand. So you can see, in case you couldn't understand my Southern twang, Gilbert H. Wild and Sons. So they're one of the premier growers of daylilies, irises, and peonies. They have lots of other stuff, so check them out. All right, let's cut into this thing and see what we got. All right. They really put your address on everything, and sorry, I love all y'all, but I don't want you to have my address, so I've marked that out. So here we go. So here is the packing slip, which we will get to that in a second. Um, P. Allen Smith works with uh, Gilbert H. Wild a bunch, so this is a thing for him at his garden, which is here in the Little Rock area. So if anybody wants to come visit P. Allen Smith, give me a shout. Um, I might just go out there with you. I might have to save some money for a couple of paychecks to afford it, but uh, we'll have some fun. Nothing. All right. Ooh, I'm excited. So let's just look over what we got here. So I got Asiatic Lilies, a giant hosta collection, an Empress Wu hosta, Humpback Whale Hosta, Komodo Dragon Hostas, um, the 2019 Perennial Plant of the Year, Bethany, Blazing Stars. Guys, I mean, look at this. Butterfly Weed. I got several of those. Uh, spring a Hens and Chicks Collection, a Poppy Collection, the Perennial of the Year Collection, the Carnival Poppy, the Central Park Poppy, the Cobweb Button Hens and Chicks. I mean, goodness, I went a little bit crazy. Ooh, I got some grape gumball bee balm. I already have some bee balm in the garden, but I wanted this. It's a little different. Some green twister coneflower. I have lots of coneflower in the garden, but this green twister is beautiful. If you have never seen a green twister, go Google it right now, and I guarantee you, you're gonna go to Gilbert H. Wild and order some if you are a fan of the coneflower. Hardy geraniums, more poppies, more hens and chicks, anemones, ornamental onion. And so, yeah, all that. And another hen and chicks. So, let's see what all we've got in here. So, here's a mixed Asiatic lily. There's five bulbs in this bag. And look at that. It looks like a good, healthy bulb. It's already ready to go. Hens and chicks. Now these are uh, bare root, but there are plants in there. So you can see the little greenery in there. So these usually bounce back really quick. I love Sempervivums. They're wonderful in pots and little containers. So, and I have actually been waiting on these to get here to do a project. So that'll be coming up. Miss Perry Poppy. Look at that. This guy is ready to go. The Central Park Poppy. Carnival Poppies. 
hardy geranium, harvest moon poppy, So this is very unusual. I've never gotten anything from Gilbert H. Wild that was not labeled. So this is a slip up, but whatever it is, I think it's gonna be a hardy geranium because it's packaged and looks identical to the other hardy geranium. So I think that's what that is, but they usually they're all labeled. Ooh, it's a heavy bag. Some more Asiatic lilies. Blazing Star Liatris. Li Liatris. If y'all know how to say it, great. I, I stumble with words like these. It's okay. But Blazing Star. This is a beautiful one. Let's peek down in here. What do we got? Some more hens and chicks. You can see those. There's my sedums and cactuses and all that stuff. Not sedums, uh, sempervivums. And I've got a collection, guys. I've got a collection. I noticed them sitting over there and thought, oh, let me just zone in on that. Okay, back to the unboxing. So look at this. This is the Goliath Poppy. I mean, that's a very nice package job. I am enjoying it. Great gumball bee bomb. So this comes as a plant ready to go. So that's what these are. These are plants ready to go. Look at that. So this is a four inch nursery can that's in this box and the box just helps it ship. This is a fantastic way to ship live plants, guys. So if you are looking to buy some of these perennials, Gilbert H. Wild, I'm telling you, love it. Peggy hens and chicks. Look at that, gosh. That's a pretty one. Another hens and chicks. This is Silver King. So good. Let's see, what's this? Yep, another hardy geranium. So that's what that other guy is, because here's the third one. So that looks good. Red Reuben, oh, look at that. That's a beautiful one. Let's set him off over here. I'm running out of room over here in this plant pile. Empress Wu Hosta. The Empress Wu is a giant hosta. If you're not familiar with it, this is one of the hostas that just gets absolutely massive. Um, it's a perennial. It comes back year after year. Several of the things that I've ordered here are for my perennial shade border. Um, I am developing that shade border back there. I'll be showing you more of that. Um, and I'll be showing you some of it very soon because I've got to plan all this stuff. So the Empress Wu is going to be a good space filler because it gets so big. So if you don't know Empress Wu, go Google it. I'm sure if you're a shade garden person, you'll want one. This Hens and Chicks has babies. One, two, three, four, five babies poking up. That's awesome. Cobweb buttons, yep. You can see how it looks like a spider's been on it. That's how the plant grows. Isn't that fun? Humpback whale hosta. This is itching to go, look at that. Komodo Dragon Hosta. Ready? This is the an anemone. Look at that. Fun. Oh, another Blazing Star Liatris. And then we've got our big boxes down here. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, 
Spring Plan of the Year. So one of the fun things that Gilbert H. Wild does um, is they have the perennials of the year. So you can, and they have perennial collections that you can buy. So what I did here is I bought a perennial of the year collection. So there's different plants that go, that come as one package deal. So that's what I have done. And yeah, that's a fun package. My butterfly weed. That's looking great. So if you want to attract monarch butterflies specifically to your garden, you gotta have milkweed or butterfly weed. The green twister coneflower. Hmm. It's kind of hard to see down in there, but it is green and growing and looking great. Ornamental onion. I love alliums. Um, any, of, any of the plants in the allium or the onion family, the garlics, the leeks, the onions. Um, I know a lot of people grow them for food, uh, but they also can be grown for ornamentals. And then there are some varieties such as this, which are specifically grown for ornamentals. Um, anything in the allium family puts up big stalks. Um, and when they open up, they're just these beautiful balls of color and it's a really cool flower. So I like that. Another ornamental onion. And the last one, dwarf cranes bill. So this is a 2015 perennial plant of the year. And this one is fixing the flower. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So there is my Gilbert H. Wild order. Let me back up here so you can see. There are plants everywhere. They had that box so well packed. Well, I've been waiting on this box for a while. It finally got here. I was excited. And anytime you have live plants show up, you need to unbox them right away. Uh, make sure that nothing is stressed out. Give everything a drink of water. So I'm going to start one by one getting these things checked, give them a little drink, and then the fun work of planting begins. I've got to start getting all of this stuff into the ground. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I know there's some stuff in here that maybe you're not familiar with, or maybe you are familiar with it, who knows? But I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you found something in this box that maybe you wanna go order. Um, and I can't tell you, I don't work with Gilbert H. Wild. I'm not commissioned by them. Um, I'm not affiliated with them. They don't sponsor any of my videos. As a gardener, I like their product. Um, I like the care they take to ship their product, and I like their product selection. So that's why I use them. Um, and they're pretty local to here. They're located up in Missouri. Um, they're only, if a lot of people that watch my channel are very familiar with Baker Creek, um, and Gilbert H. Wild is only a couple of hours, uh, maybe not even two hours away from Baker Creek. I got everything cleaned up and unpackaged. So these are some good looking plants ready to go. Yeah, so go give them a try, check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber yet, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. Just Click that bell down there, subscribe to the channel. You'll get notified every time we post another video. Join us on Facebook. But get out, get in your yard, get in the garden, and enjoy spring. It's here. So until next time, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.